Monday, August 8th, AKA. Can't see that, but the first day of grad school. I am super excited. Um, so yeah, class starts at 10. Today's gonna be my first day um, at Georgetown. So I'm already kind of running late. Um, I woke up at six this morning to just quickly wash and do something to my hair. Um, so I'm not looking too, too rough for my first day, but yeah, I'm excited. So let's go. super super short and she let us out a little bit early sorry i literally so you know how I, I barely made it on time but i was in the wrong level so i was on the balcony and i couldn't figure out how to get to the bottom section and there was a i'm just gonna go to the library and eat something and then just go over some lectures and just get myself organized so Alright y'all, so I just got done with my first lecture for the day. Sorry if you can't hear me or if I'm speaking low. I'm in DML, which is our library. Um, so I'm about to eat some some lunch, aka breakfast and lunch because I did not have time to eat. So yeah, definitely getting lost. My first day sucks, but it's just the first day and I think I know how to find it better now. Um, so yeah, here we go. So now I'm just going to eat, um, just organize myself, um, go over some lectures again, and just get myself ready um, for tomorrow's stuff. Um, so yeah, so far a good day, and we're staying on top of things. Let's get it. <sighs> okay guys, sorry for the terrible lighting. It is only like, what time is it? All right, so it is almost six o'clock, about 5.55 p.m. Um, I just got home. Well, I've been home for a little bit now, but I, you know, got some snacks, finished talking to my mom, stuff like that. So yeah, it's about six o'clock. So the first day was pretty good. Um, had a lot of adrenaline from getting lost a couple times and then, uh, I've had to deal y'all with financial aid and submitting this FAFSA. I don't know what's wrong with my FAFSA. There's some kind of glitch in it, but like it's taken so long to get processed. So I ended up calling my school's financial aid office. Um, so hopefully they will be able to help me work through this cause <laughs> I cannot pay for grad school on my own. I just don't got that kind of money. Um, so yeah, anyway, a little bit about the day so the day started at about 10 a.m that was our first class and that was sfi one or scientific foundations um so pretty much like it sounds it's just the scientific foundation um so our professor just went over like what the class would be about so primarily we're going to be learning biochemistry it's a lot a lot of biochemistry like half of the module is going to be on biochemistry, histology, embryology, physiology, neuroscience, anatomy, and then a little bit of pharmacology as well. After that, we had a little bit of a break until one, and that's when I went into the library, which you all saw me 
Um, that's also where I just had my meal, first meal of the day. Um, and then we had a technology class at one, just going over like the different like clicker systems and Canvas and how to access certain things. So yeah, it was really helpful. And then we had our biomedical careers pathway class. So that's like a graduate class. Well, back up. Um, so the SMP that I'm in is actually divided. It was special in such a way that we take medical classes as well as graduate classes. So some things will be like well some classes will be in actual lecture with the med students the ms ones for the year and we'll be literally like hearing and learning and taking the same exams and lectures that they do and then on the other hand we'll also have our own like graduate classes um like the biomedical career pathways um that'll be just like our own little thing so we have like an introductory course to that and we went over study tips which is super important for me because something that you know i want to do better in that i didn't do so well in in undergrad was like my study skills and my time management so like they gave um us a lot of like mini assignments to do to kind of like start thinking about like what we did in undergrad versus how we want to do now and what can we do to make those changes so yeah i'm super excited to like start figuring out like a study schedule what works for me so yeah if you guys have any questions about that or anything you want to know that like i learned that i think will be helpful for you all just let me know in the comments below and then after that, right after that, we had um, our Big Sibs meeting. Um, so Big Sibs are kind of like our mentors through the process, this whole thing. So they did the SMP before and they are now current in one. So they came to just introduce themselves and like share like their biggest takeaways from the year. And like they were really helpful in like sharing to us like their study skills and how they tackled certain um classes and professors um as well as like they were so willing to pass on like any Anki decks or any like information like recommendations for youtube videos to check out so yeah it was super helpful so i actually have two big sibs and they are awesome and they were so fun and so funny to meet so like i definitely look forward to um getting to them getting to know them more and spending some more time um with them so yeah i'm super excited so yeah after that um, that ended our day, so I took the shuttle back home. Well, not back home, I took the shuttle to the train station, and then I took the train home, because y'all, I commute, and the commute is not cute. It is like <laughs> about an hour, a little over an hour, so it's a lot. Luckily, lectures, um, some of the lectures aren't gonna be mandatory, so like you'll be able to see them like after they've been recorded. And I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do, but honestly, I think that may be my best bet is that I like find somewhere like local to study. Like I have a local library, like 10, 15 minutes from where I live, and do my work and courses there, um, or a coffee shop to switch it up sometimes. But I'm starting to, mm, I'm gonna think about it because you know that commute is not cute. Um, but anyways, right now, um, since I've had my snack, I kind of had the time to decompress. I think I'm going to change clothes and go to the gym. <sighs> my gym schedule, y'all, has been really, really off. Like, I don't think I have worked out consistently since, like, February. <laughs> yeah, so definitely that's something I stressed um, today is, like, taking care of your physical self, your mental self. And, yeah, that means moving your body. So I'm going to try to make this year you know the reason well not make this year the reason make this year the year where i am consistent in working out and consistent in showing up for myself um so yeah i'm gonna hit the gym probably come back um eat dinner shower and prepare for the next day of classes so yeah okay guys so this is where i'm actually going to end the video so thank you for coming along with me um for my first day of grad school um i'm super excited i'm so honored and blessed to even have this opportunity and to be here and i'm so excited for all the growth that is to come this year and i'm excited to take you guys um along with me so yeah to like comment and subscribe down below um and i will see you in the next video all right bye guys Whoa.